All right, Coach. Uh, big additions to the uh, Mid American Conference to this year to the tournament is going to be Missouri and your alma mater. You and your brother, Justin, were all Americans at uh, Northern Iowa and Missouri coming in. But Northern Iowa, how do you feel about that? First off, coming in your alma mater coming in. Uh, you know, it's 720 miles from Athens. That's how I feel about it. It's a long drive. No, you know what? I'm excited about it. I think it's, I think it's a good move for the Mid American Conference. I think it's a good move for Northern Iowa. To be honest. Um, uh, yeah, you know, it, it makes us uh, probably one of the second best wrestling conference, I mean, arguably, in the country. Uh, I think it helps us recruiting-wise. I think it helps us fan base-wise. I think it helps us uh, recognition-wise. So uh, I think it's a great thing. I mean, um, now we got to go, hey, instead of raising our level to, to what the Mid-American Conference was, now we, you know, uh, I think we got to raise our level to where Missouri's at, which may be a, more of a Big 12 team than a Mid-American Conference team. So uh, uh, I think it's good for everybody. Central Michigan has had a stranglehold on it, over a decade of winning the titles. You're the last team, you were the coach. Uh, in 2001, you guys won the Mid-American Conference at your place. I know that because I was wrestling in the tournament. It was a long time ago, but how much has this changed the dynamics of the tournament, Coach Greenlee? Well, uh, I, I think a couple things. I think one, uh, Northern Iowa and Missouri are going to figure out how tough Mid-American Conference wrestling was. I, I mean, I, you know, I came from that area of the country, came here and go, oh, geez, wrestling's a lot tougher here than I thought it was. Uh, so I, I think that's going to be a little bit of an eye-opener for them. Um, yeah, the, the tournament, uh, it, it, it just got a lot longer. You know, it used to be you wrestle a match, take a couple hour break, wrestle a match, couple hour break, come back the next day, you know. Uh, now it's going to be, it's going to be, we're still going to keep it a one day tournament. It's going to be a little bit more of a grind. Uh, I'm, I personally like that. Um, I, I think you can sneak some wins in when you shouldn't sneak wins in in a tournament like that. And that's the way we're going to prepare our guys. How you guys, uh, you know, how, how do you think the qualification is going to come for the Bobcats? I got, I got five guys, guys counted. Obviously a tougher conference, it's going to bring more spots to the conference. Last year an example would be Garinger stealing Newberg's spot from with that pin. And then, you know, he, he stole his spot, he gets to the NCAA tournament. You, do you think you guys can do that a lot more and maybe get seven, eight guys to the tournament? I, I, think, I think that's going to happen a lot. I, I really do. I mean, um, yeah, you know, typically you look back at all the tournaments across, you know, the, the, every tournament, somebody catches fire and, and wrestles real well. Um, you, you know, if, if somebody catches fire and wrestles real well, there, there's going to be quite a bit of that. Um, so uh, I think that's going to happen. I think we're going to, you know, I don't know how, you know, it, it's hard to guess right now how many people are going to go and all that out of the conference. But I would, I was trying to figure it out the other day because we're talking about wild cards and what we want to do for a true second and all that kind of crazy stuff. And uh, I don't know that there's going to be too many weights where you're only taking two. I think you're going to have three at each way. I mean, the way I'm looking at it, you got some absolute hammer weights in there. And I, you know, I see guys on your team stealing, definitely Look at stealing 80, matches. 84, heavyweight. I mean, those are some. I mean, you, know, you should see five or six qualifiers on those weights. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, they're, I think you guys, the most you've ever had is one you had like five at heavyweight, I think, in the, in the Mid American Conference well, as it is. Last year, didn't we get five in? They, they wild card one guy in for the fifth. 33 a couple years ago was unbelievably tough as well. So. What do you guys? I mean, uh, what do you guys got to do to to really steal those matches? You're talking about stealing those matches. Is that like a guy coming off a tough semifinal loss? Is that what you're talking about when you speak of that? Well, I'm not. I'm not no, I'm not. I'm talking about hey, first round guys struggling cutting weight or you know something like that or uh, you know I know as an athlete the. the uh, the round I didn't like the most was the first round. So, hey, we got to prepare our guys to, to go out there and get after it the first round. But the NCAA tournament, you see it every year. Number one turn, or number one seed loses first round every year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, I've seen a lot of it. Yeah, so, you know, that's that's what you're looking at. Hey, we're, you, you know, we want to go out there. I don't care if it's the semis, it's the first round, it's it's what we, you need to steal them right then and there. I, I, I don't want to be in a position where we're waiting for a guy to have a tough loss in the semis, you, you know. Yeah. Cedar Falls is, is you're actually from just outside of Cedar Falls, correct? Yeah. 20 minutes, you said? 20 minutes, that's where I was born and raised. I lived in Cedar Falls for... 20 years, dang dude. When you guys go and duel there next year, I know you guys are going to have a duel with them this year, you know, the 720 miles. Is it still going to feel like home? Uh, Athens is home to me. You know, I, I mean, I, I've got family that lives there and all that, and I'd love to visit, but, uh, uh, you know, Ohio's my home. Athens is my home. 
Uh, I've got a lot of great memories from Northern Iowa, but that's what it is. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me on the Mid-American Conference? Oh, Old Dominion coming in next year, not this year, next year. How do you feel about that? 630 miles from Athens. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, you know, I, 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 you know, I think all those things are great. We struggle to get dual meets, the home dual meets, away dual meets. Uh, you know, I, every team in the Central Michigan is the same boat. Kent State's in the same boat. Uh, hey, we just added three teams that we're going to get dual meets with every year. Three quality teams. You know, uh, Old Dominion's got has a win over. Uh, um, Iowa State this year. Northern Iowa is, I think has a win over Wisconsin. I, I'm not real sure what their schedule is, but I think that, you know, they've got some quality wins as well. Obviously, Missouri's, you know, they, they've got a lot of shutouts of over people right yeah, they're now. They're tough, man. <laughs> so, you know, you, hey, you added three quality teams. You Hopefully you can get Missouri to, to Athens, Ohio, and you, you get a crowd like you got tonight, or you get Old Dominion to Athens, Ohio, and you get a crowd like you do tonight. You get Northern Iowa, and you get a crowd like you do tonight. That's that's what wrestling's all about to me. It, you know, the bigger the crowd, the, 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 the more pressure, the better the atmosphere, the more fun it is. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? Yeah. Thanks for the time. All right, thanks.